Good morning, welcome to Belgium. As you can see, it's raining like usual here. So today uh, I want to show you the new MySQL uh, shell uh, and MySQL in a DP cluster in version 8011. So very soon available. And um, the best place to show you all this, it's of course, as we are in Belgium and we have plenty of them, it's in the cloud. So follow me, I will show you MySQL in a DP cluster using MySQL shell that knows use all the capabilities of MySQL 8 in Oracle Public Cloud. So follow me. Much better inside to work on a computer, right? So to, now I will show you how we're gonna use the new MySQL shell to deploy a MySQL and DB cluster in the cloud, in the Oracle uh, Public Cloud, right? And uh, I will show you that we can do all this without modifying uh, any um, uh, configuration files. Uh, all will be automated via only one session of the shell. So follow me and I will show you that. So as you can see here, I have created some instances, so basic instances of uh, MySQL instances in uh, Oracle uh, MySQL Cloud Services, in, so in the cloud. My three instances are called MySQL ABC and uh, by default they are running um, MySQL 5.7.21 and I have removed that. I have also created some rules, so with all the IPs uh, of uh, the other nodes and allow it uh, to connect uh, to uh, several ports. So now I will try uh, to connect to my machines. So it's uh, MySQL A, MySQL B and MySQL C. I added that uh, in my host uh, file, so etc host on my local machine to just not have to type the IP. So I will connect uh, now on the three um, machines just to show you that uh, I am uh, using uh, Oracle Cloud need to type uh, everything so which I do now and here we are connected on the three um, nodes let's uh, have a look uh, what we have here just connected as root everywhere and uh, I will check uh, it use RPM of course. Let's see what MySQL we have. So I have here already installed 8011. And I can start it. These packages are not yet available. I could have uh, access to them. This is a preview pre-built for me. Um, and as you can see, I am on O011. Uh, I just installed, you can see how I did that in the block. Now I will create a user to um, on all the nodes that I will use to manage my uh, cluster. So I will call it cluster admin. I used a very, very specific password, which is uh, Fred, right? And I've done it. A reset master, so GTID. It's an empty, uh, empty box uh, currently. When this is done, right? I can try the shell. So I will use the new MySQL shell, also 8011, right? First of all, I uh, will uh, configure my instances. So I use DBA configure instance with the name of the uh, of the credential and uh, the full URL. So where I need to go. So it's on MySQL A. It's called MySQL A dash MySQL one three three zero six. And as you can see, I use a new option which is restart true. So it will configure and restart if needed. This is something new that we added in MySQL 8. But it's already valid. So I already made some uh, changes on, on this node. Let's try on MySQL B, exactly the same way, 2306, the password restart true. And here you can see that we discovered that the, there are some changes to be done, to be uh, compatible with the group publication. It did it and uh, so I said yes, please do it. It uses set persist and uh, restart commands uh, on the MySQL 8 and it does it for you.
Now I will do it for the third node, so MySQL C. Exactly uh, the same command, and it says yes, please do it. And you can see that here the shell notifies you that the node has been restarted. Now I want just to check to be sure uh, they have restarted, I have access to it, and everything is correct. So I will connect now uh, to check um, uh, the configuration of the instance on uh, MySQL B first. So this takes time because it checks the, com the, the configuration and it says this is ok, is valid. So let's try on the C that has been restarted so it's a bit faster because maybe the restart was the processing on the B and as you can see it's, everything is ok. So now I will create my uh, cluster. So I will create this cluster I will uh, call it give him a name, right, my cluster, I uh, yeah, call it up, and uh, I run it. So I am connected, uh, I need to be connected of course, so first I need to connect, so this is what I do here, I need to connect of one of the node, so my session has to be connected, I will connect it on my scale A, but I could connect on any of them. So now I'm connected, you can see the prompt has changed, now I have a connection, secure connection to it and I do, a, do it again, I create my cluster. So it's creating the cluster, so it's loading all the group application stuff, a plugin, uh, the users, the grants it needs, verifies all that and now I have my cluster. I can see the status of this cluster and I can, you can see I have a cluster running with only one uh, member of it, so we are not tolerant to any, of, uh, any failure but it's online. Now let's take a look if uh, the other um, uh, members or potential members are okay to uh, be added. So if they don't have future transaction or transaction that I don't know yet in the cluster and it says yes it's okay you can add this node there, is, there won't be any issue. Let's do it on the other one too and it says okay it's okay you can do it too. Uh, there is no uh, uh, data that uh, will be uh, concurrent or whatever uh, uh, on it uh, or extra data so it's perfect so now what I need to do is to add uh, my um, two uh, other nodes so I use cluster add instance which I do for my skull B so it's mm -hmm. doing again the configuration check and the uh, uh, instance uh, uh, check the state of it so when it's done it says it has been uh, added to the cluster. I do the same for the other one, so the latest member, MySQL C, and as you can see it works too. This is perfect. So now I can check the status and as you will um, see now I have made this cluster of three nodes without modifying any configuration file manually all done on one shell session, I didn't use different shell session and everything is running like expected. This is wonderful, I really love and enjoy this, so I hope you will enjoy it too and be ready to test it soon.